Hey fans, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, 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 and welcome. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my seven month journey of cloth diapering, the one-on-ones, everything you need to know from start and finish just to start cloth diapering if you're interested, or if you just wanna know a little bit more about it. So be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys after the intro. Thanks guys. so I'm just gonna jump right into the video and I have made some notes on my phone because I kind of talk ahead of myself y'all know how I am <laughs> so I want to stay on um, task um, for this video because I think it's gonna be a little lengthy only because we have so much information to cover and I did not want to um, separate uh, these videos because I've been trying to do this video Lord have mercy for like seven months now. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the two questions that I get asked a lot. And that is, does cloth diapering actually save you money? Well, yes and then no. The reason why I say yes is because you're not constantly going to the store buying diapers, especially if your child is a heavy wetter or it's a massive pooper. <laughs> So Paisley in the beginning, she started cloth diapering at uh, four months. So in the beginning, Paisley did not poop a lot. So she didn't go every day. And who knows what that was about. But that's another video, another story time. Maybe not. But um, so we didn't really have to change poopy diapers. But she did use the bathroom a lot in the regards of because she was hydrated. So she did pee a lot. So we did have a lot of wet diapers. But for us, we did not change wet diapers um, like every time she like tinkled in it after month one only because in that newborn stage they hate to be wet i'm talking about it's you can sneeze change my diaper <laughs> because it's too wet so there and so when i say no i meaning like you kind of pay for it in the back end so even though we're not paying for it in the front end of going to get those diapers we're paying for it in the light bill we're paying for it in the water i mean it and then the detergent. So there's a specific kind of detergent you want to get for these cloth diapers. Um, and we'll talk about that later. So those that's the first question I get. So the second question I get is, do you have to have a huge stash, as in cloth diaper stash, um, to cloth diaper? So currently... <laughs> Because like I just love like I'm just an excessive person currently. I have 72 cloth diapers Do I need 72 cloth diapers? No, you do not need 72 cloth diapers You can get the amount of diapers your baby uh, Use in a day and if you want to wash every day, that's your business. You can definitely do that um would I buy this many um, again? I probably would only because I don't want to wash in a day. I want to wash every week. So when I wash clothes, I want to add those loads to my um, wash schedule. So I got enough cloth diapers, just enough so I can be able to wash once a week. And no, your house doesn't stink, but that we're going to get to that. <laughs> oh, does your house stink? Yes, on wash days, my house stinks. That's because all the dirty diapers are coming into the living room. We stay in an apartment and the they're in line to get washed so you smell the poop and stuff like that but who's over and who's gonna like talk about your house if they come over like they know your business like they know you got a baby come on now okay so another question that I get is why did I decide to cloth diaper so I just wanted to be curious I saw these cute designs and I was like hmm I'm gonna give cloth diapering a try and what really motivated me to continue to cloth diaper is the haters like the negative people like I'm so serious I've never seen so much negativity in my life when it's revolving of something that you're doing with your own child that's not that's not coming out of anybody else's pocket oh my god let me calm down because I'm getting passionate about it when I tell people that I was going to cloth diaper, y'all, it's unreal. Like the kickback that you get, like, oh my God, it's almost if they thought I was better than them or I'm just like, oh, I'm just so sedity or, you know, I just can't really describe it, but it was just the insane thing. But now since I cloth diaper, a lot of people been asking me like, oh, so how is it going? I want to try this, that, and the other, or, you know, even relatives that, you know, was so against it, they're okay with it now because it's super easy. It's like a panty or a pull-up. So 
it was crazy y'all but that what motivated me to stick to it i've always said from day one if i did not like cloth diapering i was just gonna get rid of them by giving them away or whatever sell them and just go back to disposable it's not that deep Whew. let's move on <laughs> But um, so let's get into like how how is the cloth diaper function? Yeah, so the cloth diaper is literally like a pull up. So this is the inside where the bottom goes, paisley tushy. And while I'm talking and describing it, I'm going, probably gonna cut to a video. And this might be after. I don't know how I'm gonna work this out, but we're gonna make this video very informative and so easy that a caveman can do it. I hope that sand isn't patent because y'all not about to sue me. Y'all just always trying. Let's get to this. <laughs> Let's get to this video. So the um, diaper always comes with a snap, so you can get the. So we're not going to talk about any other diaper besides the snap diapers, the nappies, or um. There's there's all type of prefolds and stuff like that, but I wanted to pull up. I want an easy breezy, beautiful. You know what the rest is. So. This is the back. Don't they look familiar, the little scrunchy area? Um, let's just like figure out how we gonna do this lighting. Okay, I'm gonna tone it down for you guys. There we go. So this is the back of the diaper. And that looks like the back of the pamper that you're using right now. <laughs> and then this is the front. So it's just like a disposable. You put this on the back and then you lift up and you tuck and clamp, tuck it clamp do it with me y'all put your baby on the back yeah lift up and you tuck and clamp tuck and clamp that's it like that's literally it so i'm going to cut to a part where um i'm putting this diaper on my baby girl and of course you won't see your profits i'm just doing a mock diaper so let's get to it okay guys so this is what i mean about the diaper it's literally like a disposable and i got the disposal right here she just got back from her grandma house her grandma refuses to do the cloth diapers but so yeah anyway this is how we do it so we have those notches right there that we're just going to put it on the correct um notch can you just lay pin on them put it on the correct notch um, for her weight limit or her size. So we do two, cause she has grown, okay? And all you do is click it. Uh-oh. There you go, when you hear that snap, that's what you're looking for. And then just follow it accordingly and you just do it on the other side as well. The same thing that we did there. Uh-oh. And then, so we will not get any leaks. We just draw it down. And then we draw it right here. And do the same thing right there. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then that's it. That's all we have. Okay, so the last thing, one of the last things are how do I wash these diapers? So, you before I even get to washing, what, what do you use on your baby's body? Okay, so you can't use the Aquaphor, the diaper rash cream. You can't do that or you will literally mess up your diaper because since they're cloth, you don't want any film getting over there so you can't absorb the the baby's um, waste. Let's just say it like that. The baby's waste or urine and or poop. It'll just like slide right on out of there. So you want something that's very organic and that won't like have that film or that stickiness where you know you're protecting yourself from diaper rashes i don't know how else to put it <laughs> so i'm going to list the link into the grandma l that i use and um it's an organic diaper rash cream and when paisley did get a diaper rash it was because we would have the disposable on there or i did not wash these diapers good enough and i and i know when it was because i was in a rush i was like man i'm tired of washing these diapers just throw them in a the dryer don't do that wash your baby diaper or your baby was suffering and you do not want your baby to suffer on your record you know like bad parent alert you know what i mean so i put the organic um diaper rash cream on there and 24 hours gone so <laughs> recovered bad parent recovered now we're a good parent uh, okay 
So, um, I use Tide powder. Get the powder. You don't want to get the liquid only because you just really don't know. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> get the Tide powder and get you some borax if your water is hard because that's going to determine if you get every ounce of, uh, if you strip your diapers good enough. So, get borax. Get some Tide powder, get some OxyClean, you know, for perfect measures because I season my water on my clothes, so I'm seasoning my water on my uh, my um, cloth diaper. So we have Tide Borox for uh, soft water or hard water. We have um, OxyClean, and then I put a little bit of drift in there just so it can smell, I don't know. I don't know, it just it doesn't smell like a dirty diaper, you know what I mean? So, and that's it. You don't put no fabric softener or anything because that will mess up your diapers. And when you dry them, you do not, I repeat, you do not mm -hmm, put no darn uh, fabric softener sheets, the dryer sheets in there because that can leak up on your diaper and you ruin your expensive diaper. So you don't want to do that. I'm going to cut over um, to a scene or a quick little tour of how I wash my diapers because I do have some dirty diapers there and we're going to just... Get into. Okay guys, so we're back and I'm in my little washroom area right here and I just wanted y'all to get a little tour. I did a little sum sum. Just a little sum sum. So that's it. <laughs> that's that's all there is so i just want to show you the dirty um cloth diapers be warned it is a little graphic so if you see the little poop there it's baby poop you know it's not a snicker it's the real thing so i just want y'all to see how these diapers look when they go in but they're super clean when they come out and that you pretty much saw an example of that because now she really is pooping in her diaper so this is a dirty diaper and so this is the cover but this is the actual insert that goes into it and you see the stains the poop stains i'm touching it only because it's my baby and i really don't care like it's breastfed it's not oh my god it's not and i really am touching this anyhow i literally wash my hands after it so i mean i'm used to it this might not be for you if you want to do it and you don't want to touch anything put some gloves on y'all it's not that deep i promise i promise you it's not that deep so what i do is i separate the two so you have your cover and then you have your insert now now that she is a heavy wetter only because she feeds like on the clock during the night oh i just touched my face okay we're gonna roll with it <laughs> But um, she, you know, is a heavy wetter now. So I have to double up on these, but I have different type of inserts. So there's two inserts. You have a bamboo insert and then you have a hemp insert. Hemp insert is super absorbent and it just holds a lot. So we do a bamboo in a, um, a hemp insert um, only at nighttime because we're up and we're aware and I feel like when, when I say that whole diaper will last her those whole hours during the night, and it will and it will keep her dry on top because the super desorbency on this this cover, I gotta stop touching this poop. I'm gonna throw this in here. <laughs> so typically I will have my water running and I have it on hot. I always wash her cloth diapers the first round in hot water and then the second and the third round will be on cold only because that heat, I let it soak, let it absorb, let that poop kind of, you know, detach itself from the diaper and just kind of strip it in the washroom, wash machine like gently. But anyway, so that's what I do. I literally take, and this is, um, if you want to see, there's nothing really on here, but, um, y'all good? Okay, my husband and kids just came in. But anyway, so they're probably going to make a lot of noise, but we're just going to roll with it because I've been trying to do this video for like eons now. Y'all want to say hey? Want to say hey? Hey, Paisley. She was looking. <laughs> she was looking at want to be on the camera. You want to show the people Paisley? Oh, touch myself again. Can show people Paisley. okay anyway so that's pretty much it and this one is a super heavy and it's just filled with her pee and you know what you don't want is the pneumonia smell so just bear with me guys it's gonna be a little noisy but we're gonna make through this part 
So that's it. And the way I took it out is simply the way that you're just gonna put it back in. You're gonna have your insert and you're gonna put it in that um, inserted area in the cover. So I just stuff it in there, make sure it's flat, and then I do the what? The lift, and then you, oh, okay, y'all remember the song. And so that's all I do. So I wanna show you how I season my water. And y'all know black folks, we only we don't season chicken only, baby. We're gonna season it uh wash water because our clothes gotta smell good. So this is what it's too late now. Are you just want oh, look at this? Look at my baby. Say hey Paisley. Try to zoom in on your gear. No, nope, can't zoom in. Okay. But okay, so this is what I use. So this is my tide. Um, washing powder and my OxyClean. And then this is the brand of OxyClean that I use. It's the purple label. So get the tough odors because we do not want that ammonia smell and we do not want that poop smell. So I just mix it together because I just think that's so time. Um, I don't know. Mix it together. So I do one scoop of Tide. I put it in there. We do not do the bees. This is for our, our um, the grown-up clothes, me and my husband's. And then we do one scoop of the Borax. Yes, baby, I'm washing your dirty diapers, good. One scoop of that and do a full scoop. Only because we have hard water. And what I mean by hard water, just I'm going to leave something up here so y'all can understand what I mean by hard water. But if you got that pink in your tub and you got a scrub, you got hard water, y'all. <laughs> so just to prevent that, we put some borax in there. And then I use the Clorox uh, for color stain remover. And ever since I've been using this, it's really been cutting down on my wash time because it really gets in those clothes, guys. And it does not hurt the baby. If y'all wanna be organic and all that, like that's your child, do it, do as you will. So, and so we just gonna do a cap of that. I'm only doing that good measure because y'all don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> y'all just swivel that thing and pour, yeah, okay. And lastly, we're gonna do our drift. And then we're just gonna pour a stain remover. So this is the drift stain remover and only because I got a lot of this from the baby shower and I really don't um, use it to remove stains from her clothes. You know, I use it for the diapers now. So we're just gonna pour a couple of that. You know what I mean? And that's it. Oh my God, don't mix stuff. You're gonna have a chemical explosion where the water is about to start running. And that's all I have for you guys. If, again, I probably already said this, but that's it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comment section and I will get to y'all as soon as possible. Thanks guys.